Like everyone else, Germans like to go to the movies and play computer games. And to ensure that children are not exposed to inappropriate material, films and games are rated. For movies, this is done by an organization called the FSK. The F stands for the German word for voluntary, and it is in the sense that the law doesn't force filmmakers to submit their films for approval. But without a rating, a film cannot be made available to anyone under the age of 18. It works like this. A movie is submitted to the FSK. They watch it and issue a rating. There are five possible ratings and they're very easy to understand. They simply give the minimum age you have to be to watch it in the cinema or buy it on DVD or Blu-ray. The exception is the 12 rating. In cinemas, children from the age of six can be admitted if they are accompanied by an adult. The FSK doesn't actually censor anything, but can suggest some cuts that can be made if the studio wants a lower rating. But then they have to go through the whole submission process again, and it's not cheap. Now, compared with American ratings, the FSK is a bit more tolerant of sex and nudity, and a bit less tolerant of violence. But this doesn't usually make much difference. There are some exceptions. You can, for example, make a documentary or educational film which, on your word of honour, has no sex or violence or anything of that nature in it, and you can legally sell it openly on DVD without FSK approval. It will then usually have a label like this on it, but that's not a legal requirement. Of course, if it is discovered that it should have been rated, the fines are astronomically high. So you really need to know what you're doing. You can even show a non-rated movie in a cinema, but you have to be very careful about it. I once made a short film that was shown in a local cinema, but we had to print our own special tickets so that, legally speaking, it was a private screening. The FSK can refuse to issue a rating, in which case the movie cannot be sold, given or shown to anyone under the age of 18. This can happen if, for example, it glorifies very extreme violence or has particularly graphic scenes that combine sex and violence. I mean, we're not talking here about your standard Hollywood rape scene. It's not easy to be refused a rating. It has to be very extreme. Cases like this can be referred to a government agency which may choose to put it on the much-feared index. This is a series of lists of media that have been judged harmful to young people. The lists are in two main groups. One group is lists of media that have actually been banned and cannot legally be distributed at all. The other group is lists of media that haven't been banned but cannot be openly advertised or even displayed, and they can only be sold to adults if they ask for it by title. Computer games also undergo a similar process, but this time by the USK. If you've ever browsed an app store here in Germany, you may well have seen these ratings. Games also have another rating on them, but this has no actual legal force, at least not in Germany. This is a Europe-wide thing, and it is just a recommendation. Like the FSK, the USK doesn't actually do any censoring, but it is quite common for software companies to preemptively censor their own games. German versions of World War II themed games regularly had any reference to Nazis removed, in one case including Hitler's moustache. It was only recently that the USK released a statement explaining that no, Nazi symbols are fine in games. The question is whether or not the game promotes Nazism. And that is basically it. Fortunately, none of this affects my YouTube channel, so I am completely free to say f Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. 
Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.